Let's see if I remember how to do this. Skip to my Lou, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. Now before we get to today's video, it's been over two months that you guys have seen this girl. Um, her name's not Karen anymore because we got too much crap about it. But she did get her baby box out and that is why she has a shaved belly. Today we are going to go over an article that I found in one of my favorite websites that's part of my Facebook feed. Anyway, this article is from IFL Science, which IFL stands for I F and Love Science, which I do. I was a big math science girl, but also arts and literature when I was in school, so. Not in school now, and speaking of which, there are certain parts of your life or our lives that we peak at something. And today we're going to talk about the specific ages that people peak throughout their lives, according to science. Science. Anyway, IFL science, here are the ages you peak at everything throughout life. Now that may sound a little bit depressing, but I'm going to look on the bright side. And if I have already passed the age at which I would have peaked at something, I can just check that off my list. I'm not even going to try. If my peak age has passed, so be it. All right. So they actually have a chart here that highlights the age specifically at which you will or should have peaked. And apparently from one to seven years old, you don't peak at anything because here we've got the very first thing that we peak at age seven, which is learning a new language. Now, I think we all know that we learn languages far easier when we are young and parents are encouraged if they do speak a second language to integrate that into everyday conversation with their children and that's what my parents did. They spoke Dutch and English with a very thick accent and French and Spanish I believe. But anyway, we spoke as much Dutch as we did English in our household. That had to have peaked for me before five. My sister and I were fluent but once one of the parents left the house, the remaining parent no longer well, spoke in general, but spoke Dutch. So, um, seven years old, peak at learning a new language. Now, between seven years old and 18 years old, you're kind of drifting through life because at 18, you peak at brain processing power. I don't think at 18 I was processing any important brain stuff. But then again, I might take that back because Going to college, 18, 19, 20, I did process stuff a lot better than when I went to college again at 25, 26. So that makes a good amount of sense. Now, it's only four years later at age 22 when you are the best at remembering names. That's right. You peak at 22. To remember names that's important that's kind of a weird one some people just never remember names like my husband I have to remind him every day what mine is okay so it looks like at age 23 you peak at life satisfaction and female attractiveness to men well at 23 yeah 23 is a pretty good age for women as far as you know looks and exuberance and your body and all that it's pretty attractive at 23. As far as life satisfaction, I don't know that at 23 you realize that you're satisfied or not with life, but that's where you peak. So if you're 23, which you probably aren't if you're watching my channel, take a look at your life and see how satisfied you are. So if you're 23, you're attractive to men and you're satisfied with your life. Okay, 25, you peak at muscle strength. So I don't think at 25 I even cared about my muscles or lack thereof. I think what they probably mean is your muscles are at its 
peak strength at age 25. So if you're 25, go to the gym, you're going to get a lot out of it for one whole year. Age 26, finding a partner for marriage. I don't know, that seems kind of young. I met my husband at 27 and I still feel that that was a little bit young to find the person that you want to live with forever. I mean, it, it's working out, but I'd say more around, in my opinion, 30, 31, 32, which is when I got married, 32. Yeah, five whole years before getting married. We just wanted to make sure we liked each other. Okay, <laughs> at 28, you're gonna peek at something that I could care less about ever peeking at running a marathon. You peek at that at age 28. So I, I missed that one. Okay, age 30, bone mass. Your bone mass peaks when you're 30. Now, I remember when I was 30, I worked at the American Cancer Society and we would do health fairs and there was one booth that had bone density, bone mass, bone density. I don't know, but they were testing for osteoporosis. And my bones tested at 30 to those of a 60 year old woman. And people who are Asian, drink Diet Coke, other factors that weigh into your propensity to have osteoporosis. I have both of those things. I drink Diet Coke and I'm a little bit country, I mean Asian. Next, at age 31, you're gonna peek at playing chess. Not according to that little kid genius who plays chess. Anyway, if you're 31, pick up that knight or that pawn or that, I don't know, I've never played chess properly. 32, a year later, you will peek at remembering faces. I don't know what to say about that one. It's been said that tiny little infant babies remember faces and super old people, but you're going to be the best at it at 32. Now it'll take us a whole seven years to get to the next thing at which we will peak, which is women's salary. At age 39, a woman's salary peaks. So I passed that one up for sure. At 39, I don't think I was even not making a whole lot of money, I don't think. Well, get this, a year later at 40, making a Nobel Prize winning discovery. I make those every day, I just don't tell anyone about it. And I was doing that long before I was 40 and still doing it long after. Eight years later at 48 is where men peak at, well, it says salary men, so they peak at, I'm gonna say the highest salary of their lifetimes. So that's interesting because that's nine years after women. I don't know what to think about that one. Um, age 50. So here's where I am and it looks like this year I'm going to peak at arithmetic skills. Yeah. So um, after this video I'm going to do a little math. Actually I've been very good at math and kind of obsessed with numbers my entire life. I calculate and think about numbers pretty much wherever I go. Kind of like weighing things out and the statistics of stuff. I turn it into numbers and I'm weird. Uh, 51, ooh, next year I can look forward to understanding people's emotions. I don't want to. It's too hard. People have too many emotions and especially lately. They're a little bit too much, too hard to understand. Oh, wow. Okay, so it will be another 18 years until you peak at anything. At age 69, life satisfaction again. Now, we saw that before at age 23. I believe the 69. I do. I mean, already at my age, I'm kind of relieved and am more aware of whether or not I'm satisfied with life, I still haven't decided, but I think 69 is a pretty good age to figure it out, better than 23. This is weird. So at 71, you peak at vocabulary. So go talk to your grandpa who is 71 and he will use all kinds of good words. 
bring your thesaurus. Three years later, very strange. Happiness with your body. I cannot believe it would take us until age 74 to be happy with our bodies. And it's a shame if this is true. They should switch 74 and 23. Life satisfaction and happiness with your body. 74, I don't think it's happiness with your body. I think it is you don't care anymore. Your body is your body. You've had it for 74 years. It's all, you know, gooey and saggy, and you've come to terms with it. And the very last thing, the very last age where you peak at anything is 82 years old. You peak at psychological well-being. That is so sad. I mean, I guess better late than never, but why can't that be earlier? Psychological well-being is so important, and I have to say, especially around these times, that's a tough one to feel psychologically well. But if 82 is the age, we're going to switch that with something else. Okay, a Nobel Prize winning discovery, that's at 40, it's too early. You want to do that shit before you die, right before you die. So let's switch age 40 with 82, psychological well-being at 40, makes sense. It's midlife and your Nobel Prize winning discovery came to you at 82 because you're older and know a lot of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, um, after 82, we don't peak at anything. Let's make ourselves peak at something at 90. Okay, 90 is going to be peaking at dancing ability or operatic prowess. I don't know, something special happens when you're 90 because that's that to me is old. And I know a lot of very young people that watch my channel uh, think I am old. And I get that because think about it, when you were in third grade, you looked at your teacher and went, that's an adult. They were probably 25. An adult, yes, but shit together, no. Anyway. I do know now at this age that old isn't quite the word for it. Older, I don't know. Mature, experienced. Those are good ones, but 90, that's up there, especially if you're gonna dance and sing opera. Anyway, you guys, what do you think of everything I just went through, these ages at which you peak in your lifetime? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Is there something that is missing from here? If there is something that you feel you peaked at at a certain age, let us know in the comments down below. That's a really tough one. I mean, I guess when you're peeking at something, you don't really think about it. Like, this is my time right now. But this is all according to science, and you know those scientists. Anyway, you guys, that's it for this video on the age you peak at everything in life according to science. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I did. I'm good at math right now. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed but would like to be, please hit that button down below and you'll see me very soon with more videos. Bye, guys!